M0FXB, welcome to my channel, Quinshan UVK6. I absolutely love these radios, especially the yellow one. See that? It's got the yellow screen and a nice sort of metal finished front around the screen with these bolts. It just, it's, to me, it's got a torch in it, it's got a radio in it. I just love them. I think they're great. To re activate the radio, I think you just press F then FM. A and B, you go F then number two. VFO memory, F number three, and then you can go through all the different bands, F1. And as you know, you can uh, have modified firmware to change what this does. But I'm just program programming this one up for my brother. I'll put a link in where you can download this software, which is called the Kuangsheng Portable Radio CPS. I've already programmed it, so I'll, I'll just go through the different things that I've added. I'm in the southwest of the UK. So S20 is 145500. Then I've added a repeater, so we double click number two here. And you'll see another window opens and we've got GB3WR, frequency receive is 145600, transmit. You don't put a shift in, you put in the actual frequency, 145000, high power. And remember to turn off your receive tone, I never use them. Just put in your send tone, which is your TX. CTCSS drop down and then select the right tone. Now, if you look here, I've been just googling really. If I'm ever not sure because you can't remember all of these repeaters, you've got GB3BC, GB3FI, ZB, Bravo Sierra. We've got the Hubnet Link MB7 ISW. I highly recommend you join the Hubnet group. You can join that using analog and digital. GB3WB, that's strong to me. And then I started putting some S19, which is 145475. You know, look that up, Google that one. So I like it. Function keys, I've just put in monitor, side key, push that, and it, it will take your shift away. And so you can listen to the input. You've got flashlight here, uh, FM radio on off, that's a shortcut key. And then I've got scan on off as well, shortcut key. Common settings. I don't think I changed anything on this really. Oh yeah, I did put channel name here at the top so that we see the channel name when we send it to the screen. But that was about it really. Um, so obviously there's a lot more you can do with this. There's DTMF. I mean, it, as far as I can see, it works DTMF out the box. You just key the mic and type. You've got memory channels, then your standard VFO channel, these are put in out of the factory. I haven't, I'm not in VFO mode, but I haven't changed these at all. But if you select VFO mode by going F, then uh, number three, you'll see these, which you can change. But I've got memory channels. Scan list, never use that. There's your FM radio. You can preset a nice long list of your favorite channels. And all this for about 15 pound. At the top here, you've got read and write. <clears throat> So read and write, that basically sends it. It's just a standard UV5R cable, which you can buy anywhere, Amazon, and it, it just works, you know? Um, same goes for the modified firmware, not hard to do at all. You can save here, save as when you want to create a new file, or you can open an old file. If I click open there, there's my file I've just created. It's a CSV. Well, I'm not going to do that now, but you can open, and you can actually, if I remember right, Let's have a look what else you can do. Open CSV. I'm just trying to think. Device ID, read as the same. Settings, com, yeah, your com setting. Of course, you need to select your com port to talk to this. So you go right click, device manager after you've collected the lead. And look, com port. It's, if I put the lead back in, which I've just unplugged, and it's just a Bofeng lead, it will become, you know, look, it's a serial connection. CH340 works fine for me. You've got different window options there. I haven't done that. Help as well. It tells you when you're connected. You know what your connect what your firmware is. Maybe there's newer than that. I don't know. I haven't even looked. I just came through. I got this from my brother. He said he'd lost his radio. He is licensed to zero Z D J. And I said, well, get one of these. They're, on, they're listed right now, £13 delivered. It came, um, as you can see, in the box with a drop-in charger as well. I mean, I don't even know how they can make it for that. Forget post it all the way to the UK. It's just literally unbelievable. But otherwise, you know, I just Googled the different repeaters. You can see here, there's GB3WB. I've got my Hubnet there, MB7ISW. And I just Google, there's GB3BS. And thanks very much to all of these. There's the software link. 
some videos that I've made and some, uh, yeah, you know I've been doing a lot of work on scanners lately as well. This is good. It's a nice manual from Quan Chang, very detailed manual as well. I'll put that link in the description. You know, whether you've got the UV5R, the UV K6, K5, there's other makes doing it as well. They're all the same. Oh yeah, I've been playing around with Doozy today as well, uh, which is a serial link connection from your Icon 50, the new Icon 50, 705, 52. I think you can do it with the Icon 51, but you need a 2350 cable. The nice thing about the 50 is you, you don't have to pay high money for cables. So thanks for watching my channel. Links in the description. Catch you on air. Please remember to like and subscribe. 73, all the best.